So, so sure. are you? Whatever. So do you think this is going to continue? Do you think there's going to be a second? Like, I know I, I always hope I always look at something as interesting as this, this something different that yeah. with the Beatles fans marketed right, yeah. it could literally go to Broadway. But however, I think you're hoping for a second run, right? I think so. And the other, there's also been talk of the show going to Australia. And even Hamburg itself. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, we had some uh, producers in, I Hamburg. think, it's, to, to watch the show when we rehearsed for L.A., and uh, I know that that was very positive. So I believe there's some talks, I think it's fair to say, talks are in progress about that. So so did you do any sing? Is this a musical with the Beatles stuff? It's, or yeah. not, or no, no musical at all involvement? I do, I do sing, but I don't sing in this. It's kind of strange that I've done... So, so uh, were, yeah. you, were you, like, singing the tunes from hearing the Beatles all day? Is it, like, yeah, going you, through you, your brain, like, all yeah. your favorite songs? Were you a fan of the Beatles, by the way, when you were a kid? I, I was, yeah. I used to have watched all the biographies of, of all of that time. I knew a little bit about about that time, but I didn't know as much as uh, as much information as is given in the show. Um, the other thing is, the Beatles at that time didn't play Beatles songs. They oh played, my gosh! They played covers uh, of rock and roll songs, uh, Chuck Berry and stuff like that. So uh, there's there's three or four Beatles songs in the show, but they come much later as they started writing their own. And there's a scene where they write "Love Me Do," or they write "Twist and Shout" right. and stuff like right, that. Right, right. So, yeah. so as an actor, for yeah. people to follow you. There's yeah. different places, right? Can they go? To, do you, are you on Twitter? Um, yeah, I'm on Twitter and Facebook. What's your Twitter? And... The people, especially on the radio show, we interact crazy. And TV, they got to get used to this whole Twitter thing. So, what's your Twitter? <laughs> Twitter is um, Phil Pritchard. Uh, it's at Philly Pritchard. I, I, it's a long, it's a difficult spelling. Okay, but we can Google it and you'll come up. On yeah, Twitter. I'll Google. Yeah. And then, do you have a Facebook fan page? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other upcoming projects coming up? Anything else that um, our fans can follow you and different things? And well, possibly. I, I'm just still on holiday for a few more days in in LA, but I'm meeting some agents next week, and I uh, had a lot of interest here in Los Angeles. Nothing I can talk about at the moment, but it's going very well. well we're so. going to have you back on the show for a phoner, and maybe in three months again when we do another one of the on location uh, videos in LA. I'd love to. But I mean, so I will tweet you out. Make sure that. Uh, my team gets your information. Thank it's you. amazing. Thank you, Claire Doden. Thank you, Claire. This is an awesome first interview of the interesting <laughs> Thanks, things. Claire. And there's so much more to come. And I, I think, do you do, is it just, do you do any film acting as well? Yes, I, I work with the, the British director Ken Russell, um, who's a, who was famous for his film Women in Love, won an Oscar for Glenda Jackson. Um, many years ago and I was fortunate to work with him on one of his last films um, uh, it's a film called A Kitten for Hitler um, which has a oh. very strange plot um, <laughs> we can talk about that for hours too but, yeah. but, 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 right, to, we, yeah. but again for time concerns we'll do, well, definitely thanks for coming I really appreciate it Thank and you. Why, what, what a great way to get an international audience to start so thanks for coming by thanks for having TV, me and you're listening to the Total Education Spotlight Show we'll be back in just a moment